This is the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, January 26, 2019. Eight races on the car. The poly track, of course, is fast. The first race is a Philly and Mayor condition claimer for horses who have not won a race on the Turfway poly track surface. 5000 the claiming price, six and a half the distance. Take out numbers two and six. The favorite on the morning line, number one, Bruce Tooney Toss for Bruno Chicken Dance. For the opener at post, and they are off. Quick beginning for Bang, who broke sharply. Spot a kiss, displaying speed. But it's Willie Yu, who clear off as they lead the six and a half furlong shoot. It's Willie Yu, really keen to go on and opens up quickly by just about three or four. Bruised Tooney Toss is away in the second position. Spot a kiss, could not quicken. She's back into third. Bang takes in proceedings from fourth, about six or seven now off the lead. And then a space of four or five lengths back to Willie Yu, who rides the rail. Up on the outside, there comes a holy cookie and... I am Miss Brown. First quarter, spirited 22 and 4. On to the far turn, chasing Willie Yu, who's paving the path. But Bruni Tooney Toss starts to close in, and long shot spot a kiss moves a closer third. Bang is fourth as they continue to race around the turn with 5 sixteenths of a mile to go from the backfield. Holy Cookie and I am Miss Brown starts to close in as the half mile rolled out 46. In three fifth seconds, three across the track, the gray bruise, Tooney Toss, a five time synthetic winner, will turn him on down. But here's Spotticus, the big long shot. Bang, and the short family silks is coming at him and coming on. Take a look at Bang up on the outside as they have an eighth of a mile to go. Here's Bang forging to the front. Late on the scene, Holy Cookie is getting into top gear. Here comes Holy Cookie rolling down the stand side. But Bang is digging down, but Holy Cookie's getting to her. Holy Cookie! Gets up, three parts of a link. Bang was second, tight for third. Either Irish and Spider, I am Miss Brown in 120 and two. Holy Cookie was last up the backside, but first at the wire. Needed every inch of the racetrack, but she got up right on the square to beat Bang. Number seven, Holy Cookie, owned by Andrew Jansen. Trained by Dougie Dinner and ridden the victory by Rogelio Miranda. Holy Cookie at four to one odds returns ten dollars for sixty three sixty. Second, number four, Bang, seven sixty five dollars. Third, the eight, I am Miss Brown, and finishing fourth, number five, Irish Inspired. The Exacta sixty three twenty try one hundred eighty dollars fifty cents. Superfecta nine hundred sixteen eighty. Running time for the six and a half furlongs one twenty and two. Tonight's second race, a condition claimer, 8,000 down to seven, a wide open claim event rather. They'll go a mile, scratch part of the entry, the one big kick. The favorite to the outside, number seven, Ian Smith, or trainer Steve Cahill. And they are off. Ian Smith broke sharply for the lead, and Charm Offensive is displaying speed. Meanwhile, Cairn has been ridden hard to get to the front, and a couple whip-tap urges there, and Cairn has the lead, and the rail onto the charge of clubhouse turn, so Cairn quickly clears off by about a length. Ian Smith has deferred to the second position. Charm Offensive now trapped along the inner rail from third as he's covered up again to the outside by Mana Blues. These four about four lengths in front of Mr. Chow. The clock dropper settles along in fifth, a length in front of Spring Solo, and a late-running Mansoor is at the back of the pack. Seven links from tip to tail. Up the backside they go with just outside five furlongs to travel. Ian Smith and Cairn, they're nose to nose, stride for stride. Up the backside and they are two in front of Mana Blues and Rodney tracking from third. Charm Offensive and Malcolm from fourth. Mr. Chow up on the outside in the clear from fifth. Has about seven links to raise after the half carved out 48 and two. So the pace is on between Karen and Ian Smith. And these two head into the far turn. And now Karen shows the way and is bumped the lead to just about a half. But Ian Smith and Sammy locked and loaded from second. But here's the dangerous Mana Blues poised to pounce from third as Mr. Chow kicks it into top gear. Mr. Chow, the class dropping four-time turfway winner, has dead aim on the top trio as they continue to round the far Far turn to the top of the lane. Three quarters and one fourteen, and they turn on down for the money. It's Karen who cut the corner. Here's Mana Blues lunging up to the outside. He's laying in a bit as Ian Smith has checked out to the outside. Meanwhile, Mr. Chow has stalled, and Karen is still finding. Karen's still finding on the front end. Mana Blues trying to get by, but he's lugged in the entire stretch run. Now Roddy's going to give him his head late, and he's going to poke his nose in front as Karen battles back. These two in a photo finish. Tight photo in 141 flat. Hold them all. 
Number 1A, Mana Blues battling it out with number 2, Cairn, through the entire stretch journey, and it came down to a tight photo finish, and the 1A Mana Blues got the nose bob there for winning owner Jerry Carden and Kim Hammond. Kim Hammond, the winning trainer, and Rodney Press got aboard Mana Blues for his 11th lifetime victory. Mana Blues, 543, 2240. Second number two, Cairn. Third number six, Mr. Chow. Fourth, the 70 and Smith. Exact to $25, the try for a buck, $53.60. The daily double was $35.80, the Superfecta, $344 even. Mana Blues on the class drop cover the mile in 141 flat. Tonight's third race, a uh, non winners of three claiming event. 15,000 down the 10 is the claiming tag. Six furlongs the distance. Jockey change on the seven cut me loose to Angel Serpa. And the favorite number eight, Big Iron for Michael N. Ewing's Bantry Farms. Anxious and anxious there. They are off. Sluggish beginning for North Elkhorn. Quick start for Big Iron, who jumped well. Also, J-Dub will display speed and now cut me loose up on the three-wide side. Willie I Am is fourth. A link for the back. North Elkhorn now settles along in fifth to the inside. Kalanave Balazar splitting horses up the backside to in front of the class-dropping Infinite Midnight. And unbridled boiler, the Indiana Bread, is at the back of the pack. Field of nine covered by just about 10 links from tip to tail. The first quarter fired out 22 and three. Three across the track from the outside. Cut me loose doing the business with J-Dub. Big Iron is sandwiched in the middle and the three to two favorite comes back up and after the lead as the whip comes out on North Elkhorn who's in fourth. Willie I Am is going to need a clean place to go from fifth as they continue to race around the turn. Big Iron and a confident Malcolm Franklin sitting like a statue as Cut Me Loose and North Elkhorn both come under busy rides. Rails open for J-Dub as they straight away to the top of the lane. North Elkhorn with that big sweeping move up to the outside of Big Iron who's battling on to the inside. Willie I Am Late on the scene, too little, too late down the stand side comes uh, North Elkhorn, rather, who takes the lead. It's Kalanave who's lunging down to the wire. North Elkhorn from a pesky Big Iron. North Elkhorn wins it. Big Iron was second. Willie Am third, and it was Kalanave who checked in fourth in 113. Number nine, North Elkhorn battles it out and gets the job done. North Elkhorn returns $22,724.20. The winner owned by Julia Armstrong, trained by Hal Armstrong and Julie Burke up top for the winning ride. Finishing second, number eight, Big Iron, third to six, Willie I Am, and fourth to one, Cal Nave. Exact to $60.40 to try $118.70. Superfecta, $1,207.80, the pick three, $175.60. Running time, 113 flat. Tonight's fourth race, an allowance optional claimer to go six and a half, scratch the three, Haley's Hero, the favorite to the outside, number eight, Mount Calvary with Johnny McKee. From the inside, Enhance, the son of Hanson, joins uh, the front ranks, and now there are three across the track as Kiss My Note has deferred back into fourth. Up on the outside, Mount Calvary is there from between horses. Here's Carlos down to the inside. It is Copper Plate as they continue to run up the backside after a quarter of 22 and four fifths seconds. Couple of distinct fights here. They go three by four by one. And the up top, it's Enhance who comes on through to take the lead from Son of a Nut, who's being ridden to keep pace from second. Moose poised to pounce from third. Whip comes out on Copper Plate to the inside from fourth. Here's Carlos advancing to the inside of that one. Now on the move. Here comes Mount Calvary closing in with all Hansons on deck. The half 45 and four fifths seconds. Enhance and Son of a Nut, the two grays will turn on down for the money. It's enhanced to the inside. Son of a nut to the outside. And Mount Cavalry trying to push Moose in behind horses as Kiss My Note lunges to the rail. Several chances with a 60 to go. It's enhanced to the inside. Son of a nut tenaciously from between horses coming back. Enhanced reaching. Mount Cavalry lunging. And these two in a photo lips apart in 119 and 1. In the fourth race, the Rose Norman Memorial comes down to a very tight photo. Enhanced to the inside, Mount Calvary lunging and closing in up to the outside. Gets the head bob there. Mount Calvary wins the photo for Don Nolan, Stable Incorporated. Tracy Young, the winning trainer, and Johnny McKee up top for Mount Calvary's fifth lifetime victory. They return 480, 280, 220. Second number one, Enhanced. Third, number four, Son of a Nut. And fourth to seven, Kiss My Note. Exact to $18, the try, $55. Daily Double, $54.60. Superfecta, $681.60. And the pick three, $101.80. Running time, $119 and one.
Tonight's fifth race, a condition claimer for four-year-olds and up to go five and a half furlongs. Scratch numbers 2, 11, 12. The favorite on the morning line, number five, Jackson Chrome from the Kim Hammond Stable. They are off. Quick start for Tiz Funny, who's hustled on out. Also, Hugh B with a couple whip tap urges early. Artagon's away in third. Then comes Jackson Chrome, who settles on in fourth. Only about three and a half off the pace today. Move over to his inside fifth. Two links for the back to Barrister Jim. Then a margin of three or four links back to two grand citizen Bana. And at the back of the pack, Master Landon can see them all. Round in the far turn, the quarter 22 and one fifth second. The speedy Tiz Funny shows the way. Hubie up on the outside. Artagon is being shoved upon to try to hold that rail spot from third. Meanwhile, Jackson Chrome is poised to pounce, set to strike with a four wide bid. Four across the track is a turn on down for the money. Artagon cut to corner. Tiz Funny still there. Hubie now it's go time. Hubie set down for the stretch run as Jackson Chrome is lugging in a bit, but still coming at him and coming on outside the the 16th pole, Hugh B trying to hold Jackson Chrome late on the scene. A big long shot move over from the back of the pack, but Hugh B got first run, and Hugh B is going to the winner's circle. Hugh B wins it by better than two. Tight photo for second. Either long shot move over or favorite Jackson Chrome in 106 flat. Number nine, UB picks up his fourth lifetime victory. Wins it by better than two here, taking race five. Bet down the nine to five favorite late. The winner owned by James Judd and Bobby Metcalf. Bobby Metcalf Jr. trains and Carlos Viasana was the winning rider. QB as the favorite, $583 to 40. Finishing second, long shot number one, move over. Third, number five, Jackson Chrome, fourth to three, Artagon. The winning Superfecta, 1,059.20. The pick five, $1,225.35. Pick three, 116.80. The exacta, 126.20. Trifecta 139.50, the daily double 18.40, and that early pick four 210 dollars 75 Running time 106 flat. Tonight's sixth race, an allowance optional claimer for the Phillies and Mares to go six and a half furlong. Scratch the one, one lovely storm field of eight remain, with the morning line favorite being number six straight out of popcorn for Steve Lister. The Mares at post. And they are off. Soulshine stumbled at the starting gate and is last. Dylan did it. Sends on out. Now dial me with a good even dispatch up and after the pace from the inside. It's Heavenly Hill. Straight out of Popcorn is up and after the lead as well. Meanwhile, Valkyrie on the turn back has raced up into fourth. Dylan did it to the outside fifth. Momenta Cat away in the sixth position. A length in front of Blueberry Shine and a long way last after the stumble at the start is Soulshine. 23 seconds flat the time for the opening quarter heavenly hill to the inside of straight out of popcorn these two are shoulder to shoulder as they make their entrance into the far turn dial me poised a set strike from the three wide side now dylan did it moved into fourth now coming under a vigorous ride blueberry shine is on the move from fifth and momenta cat valkyrie is back into second last and soul shine can see them all half mile 46 and one fifth second heavenly hills still there but here comes dial me comes calling for the lead and dial me shake up by Malcolm to the outside as they straight away to the top of the lane. And it's Heavenly Hill, the one to catch. Dial me under a full out drive to come and get her with a furlong to go. Heavenly Hill shaking up. Dial me moved into second. Dylan did it to the outside in third as they're in the final 16th of a mile. Heavenly Hill, the daughter of City Zip, drawing away. Heavenly Hill with an authoritative victory here. She wins it by almost six in the end. Tight photo for second in 118 flat. Number two, Heavenly Hill snuck through along the fence down the backside and stayed there every step of the way. Glued to the fence, wins going away. The daughter of City Zip, owned by the Living the Dream Racing, trained by Mike Maker, Rodney Prescott up top for a second victory on the night. 763, 4260 on the winner. Second number six, straight out of popcorn. Third number eight, Dial Me. Finishing fourth, number nine, Dylan did it. Exact to 2440. Try 2750. The double, 32.20, Superfecta, 239.60, pick three, $74.10, running time of Swift, 118, flat. Tonight's seventh race, a claimant event for Phillies and Mares who have not won three races in the last two years or never won for life. They'll go a mile, scratch the seven puppy on a string, and the favorite in search of three victories in a row is number six, Vida Leva U. 
They are off. Sluggish beginning for Hope Prospect. Vita Leva Ooh jumped well. Also quick in his stride. Sour Peach being hustled on out, and these two will hook up on the charge of first turn. Venezuela and Treasure to the inside from third. Play for play in a tight spot. And yes, I'm evil. Just had to check over Cora Ann's heels. And now she is second last, and last is Hope Prospect. 11 lengths from top to bottom as they circumnavigate the opening turn, and they have six furlongs to travel, where Vita Leva U at 9 to 5 will dictate the term. She's making the pace of the race with three quarters of a length lead as they straighten up the backside. Sour Peach to the inside, second. Cora Ann is up into third. Venezuelan Treasure, Orange Silk from fourth. Yes, I'm Evil is fifth and about four off the pace. Then a margin of three to Hope Prospect, who starts to move and play for play is now last of the seven. First quarter, leisurely 25 seconds flat. So it's Vita, Leva, U, and Machado trying to dole out the fractions here. They'll go into the far turn with a length lead. Now Cora Ann is given the green light in the queue. She breezes up to the outside, now in second. Sour Peach is backpedaling from third now. In fact, is fifth as Venezuelan Treasure and Yes, I'm Evil both just went by her as they continue to race around the turn. Half mile and a comfortable 49 and two. It's Vita Leva U. Now she's been uh, asked to quicken there from Machado, and they open up by just about a half length as Whip comes out on Cora Ann. Venezuelan Treasure has saved every bit of ground down the center. Yes, I'm evil. Late on the scene from the backfield. Here comes Hope Prospect as they're inside the final furlong. And Vita Leva U trying to hold Cora Ann late on the scene. Here's Yes, I'm evil. And Hope Prospect up the fence down to the wire. Cora Ann getting to Vita Leva U. Cora Ann. In time, Cor Ann wins. Vita Leva U was next and came Hope Prospect. Yes, I'm evil in 142 and 1. Number five, Cora Ann gets up in the final stages here for Southwest Racing Stables Incorporated of Gennaro Garcia in partnership with Bruce Murphy and Rolando Aragon, the winning jockey. Number five, Cora Ann, 1060, 523, Finishing second, number six, Vita Leva U. Third, number eight, Hope Prospect. And fourth to four, yes, I am evil. Exacta 3420. Trifecta 7460. The Superfecta 45160. The roll and double $59. And the pick three was worth $132.60. Running time for race seven, 142 and one. Tonight's eighth and final race, a maiden three-year-old claiming event. 30,000 down to 20 is the claiming tag. They'll go a mile. Scratch number six. And there's a jockey change on the morning line. Favorite number eight strike play to Angel Serpa. Longest shot on the board coming forward. They're at the post. They are off. Horrible beginning for the favorite strike play. Jumped in the air right as they kicked it. And it is last. It's linked to Destiny. First time starter sending on out from the inside. He'll be pressed though. Super clears up and after the lead. My man Elvis and four wide eternal power. These four across the track. Let it go Indigo with a wide angle into the first turn run as It's Yes advances underneath. Three links for the back to strike play. After that poor start is second last. And as they head over to the backside, last in trailing, it's Albareo. First quarter timed out on the board, 24 and 2. Link to Destiny shows the way, but pressed intently by Super Clear and Eternal Power. These three across the track. Let it go, Indigo is to the outside in fourth. To the inside, it's yes, fifth. Between those two, my man Elvis is six and three and a half off the pace. Strike play is stalking that sextet from seventh with about four and a half links to gain. And Albareo still last, but they start to tighten up after the half of 49 seconds flat. On to the far turn, link to Destiny, trying to take them coast to coast, but still pressed up to the outside by Eternal Power. Here's Let It Go, Indigo, breezing up in hand from third, and now Strike Play has been given the cue, is raced up into a joint third as they continue to race around the turn. Here's Albareo from the backfield with a big bid on the far turn run after three quarters, 115 and two, and they turn on down for the money. Let It Go, Indigo, up and after Eternal Power. These two hook up in the final Florence for long from last, Albareo is racing step into the third position as the favorite is out of it. They're in the final furlong. Let it go. Indigo putting away a pesky eternal power as they race down towards the line. Another winner for Pat Huffman. Let it go, Indigo. Breaks maiden by better than two. Eternal power in a photo with Albareo. And then it was Itch Yes in 142 and two. Number seven, let it go, Indigo. Breaks Maiden here for Dreammaker Breeding Syndicate. Pat Huffman, the winning trainer, and Malcolm Franklin up top. Let it go, Indigo, the Indiana bred. Breaks Maiden, cover the mile in 142 flat. 
Now the winner returns 1380-765-20. Finishing second, number nine, Eternal Power. Third, number three, Alba Rail. Fourth, number two, It's Yes. And fifth, the four, Super Clear. Exact to 221 even. Try 1,054.50. $1, the Daily Double, 85.80. Pick three, $190.70. Pick four, 548 even. Superfecta, $10,612.40. No winners in the high five. Well, race fans, that wraps it up for this Saturday edition of Racing from Turfway Park. From all of us here at the track, thank you for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.